And the next challenge is called Packer. So this is the Packer challenge. It's part of the reverse engineering category, and I'm going to provide the link in the chat for you all. All right, so this is the Packer challenge. Uh, it says, reverse this Linux executable question mark, and there is a link to a binary uh, to a binary executable file. I'll leave the link to the binary executable file for chat. Okay, and we're going to, inside of the web shell, oh, I have to do my web shell again. Hold on. Okay, and I'm going to grab my password. Hold on. Okay, and from here, control V. Control V is my password, correct? No, it's control shift V. All right, so I'm going to go into what this is called, Packer. So this is the Packer challenge. There's nothing in here. Is there really nothing in here? Okay. All right, so I'm going to copy the binary SQL file over. And then I'm going to use the wget command to download it. And it is this file right here called out. So what we need to do is we need to make this a uh, binary executable one. Um, we need to make this file binary executable because we can't execute it as is. So chmod plus x and then out, which is the name of the file. And then when we look at it next, we see that uh, it has become executable. So we could try just running this file just like this. Enter the password to unlock this file. I don't know. Access denied. Okay, so in fact, because this is the first uh, reverse engineering challenge in this uh, in this event, it, the 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 method of uh, the method of solving this is actually very easy. Uh, we can use our good old friend strings on the file, and we can give it uh, give it strings ten, and it says this file is packed with the UPX executable packer. Okay, and then has a little a little URL over here. So the thing is, is that um, this this has something to do with the name of the challenge as well. So this so this uh, challenge is called Packer. And what we know about uh, about what is it? What is it called? What is it called? Zipping, uh, compressing. So compressing binary executable files after after you've uh, compiled it, it reduces the size of the binary executable file, but at the same time it also makes it harder to conduct uh, forensics on because uh, because it changes the it changes the uh, the strings and the symbols that were used to to compile the file. So so if we know that this was packed with the UPX executable packer, we can unpack it using the same software and that's going to let us uh, see more information inside of this inside of this binary executable file. So we can ask our good friend ChatGPT how do we uncompress a file using the UPX program on Linux. Okay, and it gives us the um, the the syntax over here, UPX D file name. So let's copy that and then go over here. We can paste in that command and we can replace file name with the name of our binary, which is out. So UPX depress, out, decompress, rather. Okay, so after that, we can run strings on it again. And we see there's a lot more, 
Okay, it's, there's there's a lot of stuff there. Hold on, hold on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're just gonna grab the um, the beginning of the output there, and then we're going to pipe this into the head command. Okay. All right, that didn't really help too much. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to grep for the flag. So because there's a flag in here, uh, we can grep for it. Um, so we're gonna grep the term flag here. And it says password correct, please see flag this over here. So there's this long string and what kind of encoding or encryption do you think this might be? So I can I can tell you this is not this is not base sixty four this is not the type of encoding or encryption that we're that we're dealing with. In this case, we're dealing with um, we're dealing with hex uh, representation. So it's hex representation of ASCII code. And what we can do is we can use a use a handy dandy website to translate this for us. So there's this one website called Rapid Tables, and they have something called a hex to ASCII string converter. So we, we paste in our hexadecimal, and it's going to output ASCII for us, which is what regular computers speak. So we paste in our hexadecimal code over here, and then it's going to translate it to text. So we click on Convert, and this is the result. It's a, it's a, whole, it's a whole flag. So we can copy that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give everybody in chat the um, the website that I'm using over here, so you can try it out yourself. Okay, so what happened there? So this um, so this binary over here had a had a string inside of the binary that told us what the flag was, but the flag was uh, was encoded in hexadecimal hexadecimal representation representation of ASCII code. So we took the ASCII code over the hexadecimal code over here, and then we fed it into this website over here that turns hexadecimal code into ASCII. And by doing that, we were able to get the flag. So copy the flag and go back to the challenge page, paste in the flag, and click on submit flag. Okay, and if you haven't already, click on thumbs up. Hey there, Hacker Frogs! Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.